What's going on guys, SuperDosh9 and welcome back to another Minecraft data pack tutorial video. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to create custom recipes for our items. If you missed last episode, what I did was I showed how to lay out all of the files for a data pack and also we added a custom item called the bacon bow which has awesome effects you see that here on the screen right now if you are interested in learning all of that it is quite lengthy I do recommend giving it a watch I have a card popping up right now where you can go and click on that and check it out all right so before we dive into actually creating the custom recipe what I would like to do is make some corrections so in pack.mc meta if you are following along with the tutorial from last episode I had 10 here that was for Minecraft 1.19. That was my mistake. That's what I thought it was at the time of recording. We are building a 1.20, it is 15. So if you change it to 15 and reload, it's fine. Just add some new features and stuff like that. So we got that. Now, the other thing is adding another extension. You guys need to add this extension right here, MC Data Pack. If you type that in right here and type MC Data Pack, this will pop up. Click install, it'll pop up over here on the side and install this. You'll see why this thing is very, very handy when it comes to creating recipes. All right, so in the namespace folder, we're gonna actually create three folders. So it doesn't matter which order, but you wanna make sure the namespace is underlined so that you're creating it inside of that folder. Come up here to this folder icon, click new folder, and we are going to name one crafted. Then back to the namespace folder, we're gonna hit this again, and then we are gonna call this one recipes. This is for our custom recipes. And then we're gonna do it one more time, and we're gonna create a folder called advanced mints. All right, we're gonna be using all three of these folders. So the first one, let's start with um, the recipe. Inside of bacon bow underscore dot JSON, what you want to do is come in here and right click, and then this is where our awesome extension works. If you right click and you drop down to open recipe editor, this is where it is going to save so much time for you. So it lays out this JSON file for you and you're able to basically lay out your crafting. Here's your crafting table here. Um, any way, shape or form, you can also do um, smelting, campfire, smoking, all that stuff as well. Stone cutting. Uh, I haven't messed with any of that stuff. Maybe, maybe we'll get into that in future episodes, but here we go. So what we're going to do is I'm going to kind of follow traditional Minecraft bow and then we're going to add some stuff to it. So I'm going to click this exactly where placed. So this is going to basically require that inside the crafting table, exactly where I put this stuff is exactly how you need to craft it in game. So I am going to follow by adding some sticks into there. As you can see, this automatically updates on this side, which is totally handy. Um, and then we're going to add some strings. So let's add three strings here for a bow. And then... I think what we'll do is, since this is the bacon bow, we're gonna add some pork chop, because why not? So we'll add some cooked pork, pork chop, because you know, we need this thing to be a little expensive since it's so overpowered. And then we'll add like a diamond in here. So there is that. Now, the things that you need to do once you get this laid out is inside of these quotations, you want to add Minecraft colon knowledge book. So what this is going to do is actually give the player a knowledge book. You also want to add count of one. So why we're going to be using the knowledge book is because this is something that is unattainable in the game. You'll see that as we lay this out, we're going to clear the knowledge book from our inventory. So then that way the player doesn't actually get the knowledge book. With that said, what will happen is let's say you put in Minecraft bow here when you were are to try to clear it out of the inventory. If they're holding any regular Minecraft bows, it would wipe it out of their inventory. So in this case, since we're using an unattainable item, we won't run into any of those problems. So knowledge book is actually an item in the game that you cannot craft, you cannot get it, unless you make a custom like crafting recipe for it. Um, there's no other way to, to really get it that I know of. So this is also what will show up as the display for when we're in the crafting recipe, when we make it actually in game, the bacon bow. Um, it, unfortunately, as far as I know, there is no way to actually show a physical like bacon bow, what it looks like in the crafting like output. So it always is gonna be this Minecraft knowledge book for now. Maybe in the future that changes or there might be something that I just completely missed. If you, if you know, leave that in the comment section below. All right, so next what we're gonna do is we are going to go into our crafted folder and we are going to create a file called bacon 
underscore bow dot mc function. All right, so this is going to be executed when the recipe happens inside the crafting table. So basically what we're going to be doing is we need to take the knowledge book and then we need to give the player the bacon bow. So, and then we also, because we're going to be using an advancements for like recipe unlocking, that also needs to be revoked here as well, because we want to be able to make it where when you're inside of the game, you can craft this as many times as you want, provided you have the materials. If you don't revoke the advancement, then basically you're never going to be able to craft it again. So what we're going to start with is advancement and we'll get into that folder. That's where this stuff is going to be handled here after this. It's a little bit more complex. So I want to start with the easier stuff first. So advancement revoke and then at S and then we are going to type only and then namespace. So again, the namespace can be whatever you called your initial data pack. You know, if you named it Chotch like it did in the last episode when I was talking about it, that that can be any name. It does not have to be namespace. Uh, bacon underscore bow. There we go. Now we might have some errors here because we don't have everything set up as of yet. We got recipe and then take and then at S for the player that's running the command. We've got namespace and then bacon underscore bow yet again. And then what we're going to do is clear at S. So the player that's running the command, uh, the Minecraft and then colon knowledge book. So then this is what's going to take the knowledge book out of their inventory when they, they, they craft it. Um, and then this is where we're actually going to give the bacon bow. So what we can actually do is come over here to our give MC function like we created in the previous episode and just copy this part. So we will then just paste it in here and then we'll do alt insert for me there to wrap the text. Like I said, that's a different hotkey. Um, that's my custom hotkey. So look that up if you want to text wrap. That's all it uh, is called. And now we can move into the advancements folder. So inside of here, we're going to add another file. So let's add a file and we are going to call this again, bacon underscore bow dot JSON. JSON. All right. So then now what we're going to do is actually head over to a website and we are going to fill this out for ourselves. So let's do that. Alrighty, so the link will be located in the description below, but this is the website that we are going to come to. It should look like this. Now, if you've previously used this site before and you don't know how to clear the data that you put in here, I just want to go over this real quick, hit options, and then you can click on clear data just like that, and uh, it'll clear everything out of here. So inside of this a beautiful website, what we first want to do is click right there on utility and make sure that that is clicked on. And then we're going to jump down to a criteria and in here we're going to hit this little plus button and the criteria name we need to set this i believe to the folder that we called crafted so that needs to be there the trigger needs to be the recipe unlocked so we're gonna get that guy right there and then there is that so the recipe also in this text field down here needs to be our name space and then bacon underscore bow just like so all right so then that's that that should save there so we're going to jump down here to requirements now in our requirements section what we need to do is click this little blue plus button and then we need to select this as crafted and then hit the little green button there so that this shows up like so so now we can jump down here to rewards and inside of the functions text field here, we need to type in name space and then uh, colon. We're going to go crafted and then forward slash bacon underscore bow like so. And then that's how it's going to find where it needs to go for the crafting recipe automatically for us. So that should be it. Now we can scroll up here to view JSON and we should be good to go. Yep, that looks correct. So let's copy this and we can just paste this right into our VS code. All right. So in advancements and bacon underscore bow dot JSON, we are going to paste what we just created on the internet there. 
and it should be good to go. Now, this should all clear up these errors. I know it will show this, sometimes it's a little glitchy. Crafted, let's see, that should still be good. Oh wait, did I spell, nope, that's right. So let's save and save here and save here. Let me hit save all actually, we'll go over here. And we still have some sort of error with advancement for some reason. Let's try and see if we can figure out what is going on here. All right, so I believe I found the mistake. Like I said in previous episode, I'm self-taught programmer and you need to follow Minecraft's hierarchy for data packs, otherwise they just won't work. And I think what I did here is the crafted folder actually needs to go into the functions folder. So let's move that real quick. And that should clear this up. Um, it might glitch and stay, but this should be in here like so. All right, so we should be good with that. Alrighty, so here we are in Minecraft. We're gonna type in forward slash reload and reload that thing and slam down this crafting table and let's take a look and see if this works. So we just need to lay out the sticks like that, some string right here. We need to put a diamond in the center and that and beautiful, we've got the knowledge book. So if we click on this, we're gonna shift click. This should, yep, knowledge book went away and we got the bacon bow. Let's make sure that the bacon bow works. So let's fire this that way. I might be too far. Yep, look at that, beautiful, sweet. So that's working. Now I wanna test to make sure that this uh, knowledge book is getting revoked. So let's duplicate all of this stuff in here like so. We're just gonna make a whole bunch at the same time and make sure that all of this does get cleared, the knowledge books get cleared from the inventory and gets replaced with all the bows. So let's go. Shift click, boom, beautiful. It's working, there you guys go. That's how you do some custom crafting recipes in Minecraft data packs. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If so, please hit the like button for the love of bacon. Be kind, be safe, know that you're appreciated, and I will see you in the next one.